Hamilton. Thank you. Twist it up, freak out. <laughs> hair in my eye. Um, I want to take a minute and um, give a huge shout out to Becca Mankari, who started us off tonight. <laughs> um, we're creating new memories, but I do like to bring up the first time that we met a lot. Um, so later on, I can tell new memories, but tonight I just want to say that when we met Becca, um, there was a few of us, not just the three of us, but um, we drank a bottle of tequila and <laughs> ordered Wendy's, and um, there was some weightlifting that happened and a lot of therapy talk. And about a week later, we were like, do you want to come on tour with us? Because it was like, check, 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 check for the perfect support act. Um, Becca's so talented and amazing. Her new record is incredible. I Like, if you missed it or if you just thought to yourself, I like that, you're going to fall deeply in love with the album. The songs are incredible. She's amazing. Um, so please give a huge round of applause. For Becca Mankari. It's like I drank to you. I forgot if I'd already had you cheer. Like I got so, into the, <laughs> got so twisted up in the story. I was like, have they fucking cheered yet? I don't remember. Did I already shout her out. Go do it again. Good God. I don't know what's happening. Um, it's been a week. Uh, we're gonna play one more song with the whole band, and then and then Sarah and I are, are gonna stay and just do a couple lullabies to get you ready for Betty time. But um, <laughs> but uh, this next song is Sarah pointed out last night. I'd forgotten this, but this is pretty much the only song from If It Was You that we just pretty much have never stopped playing. We play it every single Tegan and Sarah show, and um, I'm so grateful that it holds so much meaning for people and that people enjoy it. And um, recently, I did tell people what it was about and and hurt some people's illusions and feelings about it and um i feel like i have to do an apology tour now and just tell people like the music changes it can be whatever you want it to be about um but i, I guess people thought this was like a get it like it was like a hot song like it was like i guess like that felt like hot to people but I was literally just looking in on my neighbors who were way too close, like, and it was just a disturbing thing, and there was a whole close to, like, a break and entering thing that almost happened, and I was really freaked out, and then I had a cold, and I took cold medication, and then I used the traumatizing event to get the girl who was sort of seeing a bunch of other people to just focus on me for a minute, so yes, I manipulated her, and I feel kind of bad about it, but it's fine, because she did a lot of fucked up things later on, so it all evened out in the end. And it also happened to be the night the Olympics got announced in Vancouver. So it was a very complicated song, you know? So you should invest whatever you want in it. But before we do play this song together as a group, I just want to say that's what it was about for me. <laughs> but it can be about whatever you want. Um, when we finish playing the song, would you give a huge round of applause to the guys? Because they're going to leave, and we want to make sure that they leave happy. So don't, don't do it yet, but get ready for it. You know? Just save it up, and then when they go to leave, well, first they're gonna do this light thing. It's just trust me. Just want to really cheer them on when they do it because it's awkward. So um, <laughs> you guys have been great. This is our last band song.